Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to share with you some quick and easy dinners that I have put together for the past week. You guys really seem to enjoy this the last time I did it and it's been a while and some of you actually requested that I do it again so I thought it would be fun just to share with you kind of like a week's worth of super quick and easy dinners and I should just let you guys know I am not really great at cooking and I am always looking for the easy way out. We always have a lot of kid activities going on every single night of the week so the easier I can make it the better it will be for everyone. So I hope that you enjoy the ideas that I've come up with for this past week. Tonight's dinner is going to be this um, already seasoned crock pot petite pork shoulder roast. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the crock pot and then I'll shred it when it's done. I am also going to be making these frozen mixed vegetables and some quinoa. So again, this is all about keeping it simple for a busy night. Okay, here it is. It looks and smells so good. Gotta love crock pot meals. They are the best. Quick and easy. It cooks for you all day. You can run around and do everything you need to do and know that dinner will be ready at night. So I'm just gonna let that cook all day long and then I'll heat up the quinoa and the vegetables and that will be our dinner tonight. So I wasn't able to easily shred up this meat so I just decided to slice it instead. It still has a really good flavor, but it's not as tender as I would have liked it to be. It didn't pull apart easily as it should have, but it's still good for dinner tonight. Okay guys, so tonight's super quick, super easy dinner is grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. I don't want to get away with this one, but my husband is not home tonight and the kids love this. So that is going to be our very quick and easy dinner this evening. Just grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. Tonight I have the simplest of dinners. I just have some shredded cheese and some chi cheese fajitas and we are just going to have some quesadillas. And here's the finished product and you could serve that either with some salsa, some sour cream, or even some guacamole. I we'll have another very simple dinner tonight. I just um, purchased this bird's eye pepper stir fry, just um, frozen stir fry vegetables. And I just have them frying here in some olive oil. And then I chopped up some chicken that I had left over from the whole chicken that I made the other night. So in a little while, I will um, add the chicken to the stir fry here. And then I have the Chi Chi's flour tortillas and whole wheat tortillas. And we will fill them up and just have some quick and easy chicken fajitas tonight. And yeah, really simple, really quick, but it is a healthy, nutritious dinner for my family on a night where we have a lot going on. And I've just added the chicken. I am going to um, add a little salt and a little pepper just to season it. And that is our very quick and easy meal tonight. I love it when I have meat on reserve, so I really recommend always, um, you know, doubling like your ground beef if you're cooking it for a reason or if you're cooking a whole chicken, you know, cut all the meat off and repurpose it for another night. It just makes things so much easier when it's um, time to make a second meal and you have half of the meal already prepared. So tonight's dinner is just going to be these delicious chicken fajitas. So here is tonight's quick and easy dinner. I just made some brown rice and I used the Minute Made brown rice, which is really quick and easy. And then we just have some uh, baked chicken breast here and I used this all-purpose Greek seasoning on it just to give it a little bit of a um, better taste rather than being so bland. And then for the vegetables, I have this Archer Farms broccoli and cauliflower that I purchased at Target. And that is tonight's dinner. Tonight's super quick and easy dinner is probably the easiest of them all. So basically all I've done was grabbed a few boneless skinless chicken breasts and I put about a half of a container of um, Italian dressing. You can use really any type of Italian dressing. Let it cook all day long and then shred it and you can serve it over pasta, over rice, anything that you like. And typically I um, 
would add some vegetables in here. You could do fresh green beans. Um, potatoes are nice in this recipe if you wanted to cut out the pasta and rice and maybe put some red potatoes in there. But it's the end of the week and I don't have much stuff left in my um, pantry and I don't really have any fresh produce right now. So this is what it's gonna be. Tonight's quick and easy dinner is I made pulled pork. I just put a whole uh, pork butt in the crock pot all day. I think I cooked it for over nine hours and pulled it. And then we're just going to have it on these potato rolls. We're just gonna make quick sandwiches because we have a busy night tonight. And I just put out pickles, some barbecue sauce, some ranch dressing, some sliced cheese, and some lettuce as toppers. And I made mine with just some cheese, some pork, lettuce, and pickles, some ranch dressing, and it looks really good. And that is tonight's quick and easy dinner for a night when we have a lot of running around with sports and kids stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and go ahead and follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram. I hope you're all having a great week. Take care. Bye.